All right, ladies and gents, without further ado, let's go ahead and watch this Genshin Impact 4.3 live stream. Again, I don't, I don't really know much about it. I've seen little bits and pieces, but not the entire thing. I don't think much was announced as far as like new areas. Definitely, we're not getting any new areas. I know that for sure. Um, we should be able to check out uh, the upcoming banners and maybe some events, but beyond that, I don't know what's going on. So let's let's let's, let's relax. Let's have some fun. Get a, get, grab yourself some drinks. Get yourself some breakfast, some lunch or dinner, some little snacks, and let's let's hop right into it. Okay, everyone. I assume that you know why we're here, right? I've checked the perimeter. The oh, that's the new character, clear. guys. All right. I forget her name. And it's time. And of course, Navia. Time to shop for the latest fashion. I'm not a big fan of the eye patch, guys. And the hat. Huh. Don't you think something Looking sounds like a little pom -pom off out here. about that line? Yeah, this is Chioria Boutique that we're talking about. Chioria. I feel like we need something that sounds, I, I don't know, a little more extravagant, maybe? Mm. Well, we'll have yeah. to talk about it later. The lights have been turned on and the audience is already here. The program is starting. I'm interested oh, to see her um, English, her Japanese voice actress. I Welcome feel like her voice Genshin doesn't really match version her. 4.3 special program. She sounds a little Yay. too grown up. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, our show is sponsored by Chioria Boutique, one Chioria of the leading Boutique. fashion houses in Fontaine. But before we go any further, let's take a moment to watch the version 4.3 trailer. Ooh, Camera trailer. Operator. That can be a pretty technical trailer. job. Are you really up Ooh, to it? Ooh, there's Navia, guys. Damn, is she modeling for us? What? Yeah, who's pulling for Navia? Wait, you put no thought into finding a good camera angle. And the you characters are? weren't in the shots. Hen, positions, everyone! Whoa, 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 <laughs> nice what was that angle? I okay. I am the president, leader, commander-in-chief, executive commander director, chief. and boss of Spina di Rosula. You're, you're hey pulling for her as well, Popo? She looks, she's gorgeous. Yeah. She is gorgeous. Huh. Wait, she uses Hello, sunglasses? Monster, Wait, she puts on she puts on the sunglasses when she's doing her spin attack. Huh? Whoa! All right, cameras will start rolling as soon as the set is ready. Oh, yeah, Karina she puts on some sunglasses. What? The gears, the director. Props and lighting set the scene. Actors can get their makeup. She puts on sunglasses. Dress. Go over your positions. Oh, wait, she already. Actors to your Yo, position. she looks good. Camera, action. Enough, villain. What the hell is the Ayaka doing here? Oh, that's right, she's <laughs> in the banner. <laughs> You're just as naive yeah. as her. Did you really think two muskets would be enough to defeat me? Your crimes are evident. Chevrous. Chubby. Not your this is, she's gonna be interesting, guys. I've, I saw some gameplay of her, and she literally has like a crosser on her screen. So it's like she's gonna be like a third-person shooter type of character. Not bad. The actor's emotions were Damn, all on the director. Point. Look Let's at that, popping that off on the director's we'll stage. On to the next scene. Uh, Yo, Mia, of you course. Did you really think you'd get away? Chevrous. You can keep your mora, and you can go to hell. Damn, this is dramatic. Excellent. That was beyond so it looks like Furina is, is uh, starting to feel at home now. Make some Seems like she's just becoming Fontaine. the director of Fontaine. Uh, not the kind of waves that drown people. I mean, the good Dude, kind she of looks waves really that... good, bro. Guys, she looks really good. Fontaine. Hold on, hold on, guys. Uh, not the kind of wave. Guys, she looks awesome. My goodness, guys. Is she gonna be a four star or a five star? She looks gorgeous. Holy shoot. Yo, four star uh, or I five star? Good kind of waves. Five star? Oh god. But she's a geo character. Alright, let's go ahead and skip this, guys. Again, guys, the codes are pinned in chat, so make sure you get the codes. And they're also on my Discord. Four or five. Dude, she looks beautiful. What? I wasn't expecting her to look that good. Welcome back to the version. That that uh that uh everyone. teaser I'm like uh concept art we saw from and her a while ago doesn't do it justice. Larson, she looks awesome. Of Navia, wow. President of the Spina di Rosula, and I'm Erica Lindbeck, the voice of Shavras. Yay! She's in Azuma, oh gosh, and that's so why. Excited. This is the 
first time we've had you I mean, that doesn't really program. explain it, but she does look really good. So great. <laughs> okay, so actually, um, we have... So Geo's getting some love, huh? Geo is getting some love, guys. Song. We're getting some uh, Navia waifu action. We're getting some freaking... What's her face? What's her name, guys? I forget her name. Chiori. <laughs> Damn, guys. Too bad she's a Geo unit, you know what I mean? She better do something good with Geo. My expectations okay, like are before, this on the floor, literally. The expectations are so low, so while we're sharing content, which is a good thing, guys, because uh, that means that, hey, it's not going to take much to really exceed my expectations, which is a good thing. Yeah, and, and speaking of new content, we can't have a new version without introducing some That's kind of cool, guys, about uh, Navia sunglasses. I, I didn't Navia see that before. That's cool. Be our new playable characters. Yay! <laughs> uh, I'm sure many of our viewers are already familiar with Navia after seeing her throughout yeah, the Yeah, we know Navia. Hell yeah. But who? Freaking love Chevres. Navia. Mm, who indeed? Um, <laughs> <laughs> Chevres. Other Fontaine characters have already I'm just gonna call her Chevy. Before in their voice lines, but um, Chevres will finally be making an official appearance in version 4.3. Yeah, I'm so excited! Mm -hmm. so exciting! <laughs> Oh, by the way, what do you think of letting one of our characters Chevrolet, yeah, Chevy Chase role in our commercial? <laughs> oh, well, I mean, Chevy Chase, Chevrolet. Chiori Boutique, then I think Navia would be an obvious choice. After all, Navia's clothing was designed by Chiori herself. Uh, Wait, Erica, that was actually a really natural sounding her name product is placement Erica. for Chiori Boutique. <laughs> you're, art, you're amazing at this. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know it sounds like product placement. Apparently Chiori, Chiori owns really the boutique. Yeah, that's why this is, they're making the joke that uh, um, this stream is being uh, sponsored by the, the Chiori Ooh, Boutique, right? Show? We mean her character I mean, that's what, that, they, they said it. They said that she owns it. I always say that oh, here we go, guys. Isn't the answer. Here we go, guys. You have to go out and see Navia sunglass action? Yo, she looking damn good. She looks great, man. This one's got your name on it. Ah, uh, there's her umbrella, guys. There's her artillery strike. Where's her sunglasses? Furina, who? What? All right, Monty, you need to chill out, bro. You, 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 you're like a frog jumping from from lotus flower to lotus flower. She clearly pays a lot of attention. Uh, to yo, Ali, uh, give me a minute, brother. Remind me after this is done. I'm not gonna be reviewing the character right now. I'm, I'm literally watching live stream. Um, while we're on this topic, though, Navia's parasol seems pretty interesting. On the outside, it looks like a delicate accessory used to block out the sun. But on the inside, there's actually a secret firearm that can be used to ward off enemies at a moment's notice. It's elegant. She looks so good, man. Everything about her looks so Just good. Like Navia herself. <laughs> exactly. Even when it comes to her enemies, Navia is not the type to eschew basic etiquette. So she prefers to maintain a oh, her axe. while in combat. Dude, her well, axe like looks so good. Uh, oh, guys, why does she have to be Geo? Rosula shard shots that can pass guys, through opponents, why is her freaking, Geo why does she have to be Geo? She looks so strike. nice. Ooh. For a period of time after using her elemental skill, Navia's normal charged and plunging attacks will deal increased damage and become She seems a little clunky, like slow, but that's a jet, that's a claymore. That's, that's because now, she's a claymore. in combat, there are these little markings around. Am I pulling for her? I don't think so, guys. I'm going to be Skipping. Sort of ammo for the gunbrella? She looks beautiful yeah, though. Her axe yes, looks cool. You guessed it. When a character in the party obtains oh, an elemental Charlotte. shard created from the crystallized reaction, Navia Dude, she might actually team up really well with Charlotte, charges. yeah. Navia will consume these crystallize. charges after unleashing her elemental. You're skipping the axe? I mean, I would too. It looks really good, but with the number of charges that if I were you, I'd probably just get a copy of her oh, just to have okay, it and just okay, move okay. on. So you're saying that Navia's elemental skill becomes more powerful. Yeah, guys, it really sucks because I, I think she is like to trigger the crystallized reaction. Yes, exactly. She's got an awesome okay, song. <laughs> Navia's elemental verse calls forth the Rosula Dorata Salute, which unleashes Rosula a Dorata massive Salute. bombardment My on goodness, opponents that's in front of her. Periodic Yo, AMI, what's up, buddy? Elemental damage. I should also mention. That Navia will accumulate crystal shrapnel charges at certain intervals if she strikes enemies with the Rosula Dorada salute. Ooh, so she's gonna be good for like uh, dealing with multiple targets. <laughs> That's awesome. I heard that the Spina di Rosula. Ah, uh, these you guys see these? These are her her little. Um, you know, as a way to celebrate. She accumulates those things on that. And don't misunderstand, okay. you guys. It's not an intimidation they, like, tactic fill up. at all. Oh, okay. Yeah, I get. And they I go from like small to large. Way of showing respect 
in their own So she can way. stack up a dark total of six? Not intimidating at all. No. As the president of the Spina di Rosula, Navia is always trying to collect the latest intel by exploring all corners of Fontaine. When Navia is dispatched on a 20-hour expedition in Fontaine, rewards gained will be increased. Okay, so we just guys. I, I might, I might have to pull for Chiodi though. She looks gorgeous. So I think we should bring Geo, up though. What, what do we think? Is she gonna be um? You think she's gonna be a sword I mean, user or what? What do we know? Guys, what do we know about Chiodi so far, guys? Some sword user. Lost their lives during that disaster. I'm certain that those events. I'm getting, I'm getting like either catalyst or sword user vibes. Tough and committed to leading the Spina. Yeah. Yeah, Need Navia for the that more expedition? Crisis, nah. Though the prophesized dangers are over, the town that you're just pulling for her just for that. Everything, right? mm -hmm. I bet Navia's gonna be occupied with that for a long time. That's all we know about oh, her? Definitely. She just Geo? That's yeah. That's something that travelers will be able to see for themselves. <sighs> Interesting, Navia's guys. Story quest, Why couldn't she be Pyro, dude? If she was Pyro, dude, I would pull for her in a second. Will in version 4.3. The Spina will be working diligently to rebuild Poisson. Poisson. Though, That's right, guys. Poisson is kind of messed up after the uh, Arkham forward, The emotional distress may be much more difficult to address. If you're curious about how Navia and her crew are going to proceed, then be sure to check it out. Oh, I'm so excited! Yeah. Pyro yeah. Claymore? Who's Pyro Claymore? Just seeing what happens. <laughs> okay, so now Chiori? No, I don't think Chiori. Navia. Chiori doesn't give me it's Claymore vibes. Ooh, Chevy boys! What do you guys okay, think about I Chevy? I just, I'm so newer, like, you probably can't I'm so conflicted. I don't like her eye patch. So I don't like her right stupid hat. It. Okay. Um, her dress is okay. How should I introduce her? Her whole uh, rifle off, thing. Chevrus I'm a little conflicted. Uh, I'm not. And I don't know. Control. It's a Fontanian organization that she is Pyro. All sorts I do need some Pyro characters. Dangerous criminals. It's a 50-50, you think? Ooh. Yeah, I'm right there with you, man. She I just don't like, like to appear her hat and her eye patch. Cause, so if you happen to run into her, it's likely that you're in some sort of trouble. Is she going to be a five-star? But, but as long as you're a law-abiding five citizen, right? yeah. there's be no a five -star. need to worry. <laughs> Chevrus is actually really easy to get along with outside of work. Four-star. Oh, Fistos are just the best. Maybe we'll get a free copy of her. With you and go with so Maybe we'll just get a free. If she's a four star, we might get a free copy or something. What is it? What's she doing? Is she using deathmatch? Is that deathmatch? Yeah, that's deathmatch. So yeah, she's a four star. Hands where I can see them. Damn, she's using some Klee bombs too. Hmm. Um, Interesting. What? Oh, she's got that headphones. So fire. <laughs> Yo, she's got <laughs> headphones around her neck. Too, she likes to listen though. to some music. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at her idol animation. I. She'll be running with Raiden and Yuri. Mm -hmm. Oh, that so I'm probably so not gonna get a copy of her then because I'm not going for it. it. <laughs> she gets I don't need it. to pull. She really does. <laughs> she's not exactly what you'd expect. I don't know, guys. I'm 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 like patrol, I'm like though, um. I guess that's. Kind of true. I'm undecided I mean, what I think about her. Every time I see her, I just think of Pom Pom from Newsreel. I every once in a while to relieve some stress. She even adjusts her think training regimen to make up for her snacking habits. In fact, she's like a she polar than any other Amber? of the special patrol. Oh yeah, that kind of makes sense. Really uh, admires her for that. Wow. Okay. She's I, I, I'd be okay with like one copy just that to have her. That is awesome. She's really admirable. One copy would be the all right. The special patrol prioritizes combat ability above all else. So the organization often attracts some eccentric. I like her little uh, mm, little yeah. beauty spot <laughs> she's got right here. The used to have problems like right under, up under her lip. That looks nice. But that's that's control, about it. Everyone has fallen into line, which does not surprise <laughs> One copy for the free standard <laughs> pull. <laughs> yeah, you might as well do that. But you're gonna have to do some pulls on the uh, on the Yoimiya banner though. You're gonna have to pull. You're gonna have to risk it for the biscuit. Even higher standards. She always tries to be an example for others to follow, whether it's investigating cases. Oh, that's right. Sarah will be coming on the riding banner. Yeah, that's true. Like a lot of her skills involve using a musket. She must be a pretty good shot. Mm-hmm, for sure. Chevrus and her musket are basically partners in crime. They're inseparable. She likes her musket. She definitely knows her way around a firearm. Chevrus uses her musket to fire at opponents during her elemental skill. Ooh. For a period of time after unleashing her elemental Dude, she literally is we're playing a third person shooter now, guys. HP this is Fortnite. Active character on the field. During you literally have burst, a crosshair Chevrus popping up on your screen. An explosive grenade with her musket, oh, dude, that kind of wait a second. Explosive shells upon guys, impact. check that out. It, it, it ba field, you basically got a little bit of crowd element. control. You see that? They're all kind of separated, and when she shoots that, they all kind of like explode inwards. She might have some crowd control uh, First, capabilities. Fires look at that. Explosive grenade with her musket, which will split into secondary explosive shells. Oh, look at that. Impact. Haha. Uh -huh. Impact. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Oh, I wonder Wait, if that's going to be useful. Wait, I noticed that Chevrus has bullet-like markings around her during combat. 
can she shoot Dang, guys, I, I don't think she's gonna be. I don't think she's gonna be a character that's gonna be fun for uh, smartphone users. With the whole aiming thing. Holding Shavrus's elemental skill will consume this special ammo to unleash an even more powerful pyro attack that covers a larger AOE. This attack will also grant hmm, I an attack how good buff she's gonna to be. all pyro and electro she characters. Seems like she has potential. Mm. Okay, Imagine so her that's with, yeah, she might be good. Ball comes from. Uh huh. Shavrus actually came up with the name herself. Oh. She might be a great battery. I'm thinking, thinking that she might actually be pretty decent for a four-star power. character. If you give something oh. a cool-sounding name, then you've given hmm. yourself an advantage over your enemies. That kind of logic resonated with her. Right in you and Mia, weapon band are gonna go all <laughs> well, dummy. Ah, uh, you think so? She has a point. Oh, I should also mention what happens. I if might, yeah, I think you might be right. All pyro and electro characters. You're probably right. If your party contains at least one character, I mean, I'm not gonna pull on it. I don't need to. Then triggering the overloaded reaction. I already have uh, a riding weapon, and I don't have you and Mia. So. Resistances to decrease. Okay, so it seems like Shavrus could really shine in an overload. Isn't uh, Yomiya's weapon kind of niche? I also did notice that Shavrus isn't solely limited to a musket. Mm -hmm. She also uses a pole That's arm cool too. Combat. You can use a pole arm. Okay. Honestly, if I were a criminal, so is, is Deathmatch her best like in be slot? I would be nervous if she came after me. <laughs> oh, for sure. I doubt it. It just it just kind of looks good on her. Deathmatch really looks good on her. Like it matches her aesthetic really really nicely. And that's probably why they're using it. It does. <laughs> in all seriousness, though, that's why Shavrus trains so hard. She has to be able to catch a wide variety She's a hard of worker, guys. criminals who try to evade her at all costs. Dragon's so when Bane? Is in your you think party, so? Stamina consumption from sprinting yeah, we'll have to see. Is decreased. Oh, okay. she's going to be a good exploration unit, guys. These two new Less stamina uh, consumption. Both of them would be great leads in our commercial. I love how they show oh, Ayaka with so her skin, guys. <laughs> I know. Damn, she's looking oh, good! Oh, you guys probably can't see because my face is on the way, but dude, she's looking wishes, damn good. Chiori, guys, on the background right there. Can you guys see Chiori, or is my face in the way? Is about to get even bigger. Oh, oh my no. gosh. <laughs> <laughs> in the first half of version 4.3, travelers can look forward to event wishes for Navia and Ayaka. This is actually not a bad banner if you're pulling. Verdict will also be featured in the and if you're, if you're pulling for the weapon, it's not a bad weapon banner to pull for either. Because we'll you could get, uh, you know, event wishes from the Raiden Shogun and Yoimiya. Rina and Nilo During this time, Shavrus will also receive a huge drop rate boost. Damn, guys. Be sure to check them out if you're interested. That's Monto awesome. Loyal, guys. Travelers can also look forward Monto to two new loyal. artifacts. Guys, I might do like one ten pull to see if I can get one copy of Chevy. Nighttime whispers and oh, man. Sure new artifacts? Oh, to learn more about them. This seems like the perfect time for our first break. We've shared More a ton of artifacts? information so far, and I bet travelers will have <sighs> some time to digest it all. You're right. Damn, <laughs> guys, another domain to farm. We take a look at the second I'm not even done farming Golden Troop. The I'm not ready to move on. The special program is brought to you by Chioria Boutique. Yeah, Chioria Boutique, Monto. She owns it. There it is, guys. Code numero dos. Don't worry. It's spinned in chat, and it's also in the Discord. So we're going to go ahead and skip past this. You think this domain is a skip? Uh, well, we'll have to see. We'll have to see what the uh, the artifacts are like. I have no idea. Back, I think they everyone. said they were gonna give no, us more info we later. We thoroughly discussed our casting options for the Chioria Wait, what the hell? Commercial. Guys, we're gonna. Looks like we're gonna get a claymore. And we're gonna get. We're gonna get some duct tape. Super duple invincible shining sparkly magic crystal. They're gonna give us some duct tape. But <laughs> the content of the commercial is also important, right? Do you have any ideas? Hmm. Uh, you know, you can one-click claim codes in the Hoyo Lab app. Boutique, yeah, I saw that, but I saw that after I, I redeemed all the codes. Footage of Chiori? Oh, <gasps> yay! Chiori is actually going to appear in the event for version 4.3. Oh, yeah, that item unlocks level 100 While the travelers character? have been able to see her store in the what? Court of Fontaine, we'll finally get to meet her in person! Hey, no spoilers. Yes, I know. Travelers can also this. look forward to meeting Ayaka and Ayato in Fontaine. She already suggested the that nights are so lonely by, so and the days are so are. sad. Oh, cool. hey, uh, Water Bear, I am not a certified uh, therapist. I suggest you go Zuma seek professional help. 1 800 Chiori. Get Help. Chioria Boutique is your one stop shop for the latest and most influential fashion in Fontaine. <laughs> <laughs> that is right. 1 800 Get Help, guys. With the Kamisato siblings because she's also from Inazuma. She actually introduced Ayaka and Ayato to Xavier and recommended that they make the trip to Fontaine for the Fontanalia Film Festival. Miho, you're running so four exciting. main DPS in 4.3. I'm making up the, the fact that we haven't gotten a main DPS well, waifu Fontanalia since the Riding Shogun. Was yeah, that's true. The legendary Lock Knights. Uh, plenty, to plenty to pick from, I guess. They went on a quest to search for the Oceanids and eventually welcomed the Hydro Archon Egeria to Fontaine. Mm-hmm. 
It's one of the most important festivals in Fontaine, like what the Windbloom Festival is to Mondstadt and Lantern Rite is to Liyue. Ah, so exciting! Mm -hmm. <laughs> the Fontaine Film Association proposed the Fontanalia Film Festival. Wait, guys, this does year. does the nightbot like followage time, thing doesn't work anymore? Is it broken? Evaluation. Did that the shit break? with the highest score will be given the Farina Award by the association. Well, Damn, we can see pepperoni. Farina working with Ayaka and the others here. So wait, does this mean that there's a chance that Farina might win the Farina Damn, Award? Damn, guys, did it break? Okay, now I'm that intrigued. Sucks. I'll have to look <laughs> well, into it, guys. I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to leave you in suspense. I'll have to look if into it. travelers are curious about what Ayaka <laughs> guys, and the others looks gorgeous. how Farina fared, here, here I was thinking Navia looked gorgeous. Chiori just hits different, man. Hmm. She's cute. So we know that several friends from Inazuma will be in Fontaine for the Fontanalia Film Festival, but travelers have so much more to be excited. Yeah, guys, we're gonna be able to get a crown, travelers so that's also good. Have the opportunity she four star or five star? She's a five star Mario, apparently. Four point four. Each one will have a different theme. Ooh. She will be a five star, <laughs> but she's gonna be a Geo cool. five star, and the we don't know what weapon she uses or anything. Not yet, anyways. Four point five. Four point five. In this activity, travelers will use the special security and surveillance. Oh wow, guys, we get to. to Damn, you're sniping. Shooting opponents. Yep. Ooh. The special patrol wanted the public. Yo, this is gonna be fun. And the second activity booth. We get to snipe heli trolls. Yo, cool. count me in, baby. In this activity, I'm in on this one. Will use the count me in. Effects to film a fight scene. Take advantage of the buffs brought about by the special lighting effects to defeat an endless stream of opponents and obtain a higher score. So cool. Oh, guys, we get to we get to film a scene. Really Look at this, guys. Damn, this this is already so way better than the events we're getting so far, so guys. Way better. Oh, for sure. Way better but than the mushroom fighting event. Is enjoying the fun and games. Yeah, Travelers not everyone is. I agree, Navia. This mushroom event sucks. She needs some well help said. with her demanding client. During the activity, Extreme Drive. I started the current event and I love it. Reminds me of Tower balls. Defense game. Well, you know, Looking not everyone has good taste, for After those stabilization <laughs> mecha balls. You know. Okay, I bet that contract employee can relate since she's being chased. Oh down wow, we got some. Yo, we got some co-op <laughs> endgame content right here, boys. Holy! <laughs> Damn, maybe 4.3 isn't that, that bad. Automatically avoid all testers by Guys, maybe 4.3 isn't that bad after. Look at this. You some co-op endgame content. The testing grounds. Just Travelers what we've been looking for. Jump higher and further, which is perfect for quickly traversing to the other side of a stabilization Damn. mecha ball. Travelers in co-op matches will have to find a way to herd as many stabilization mecha balls into their target area. This is like uh, this is like climate. hungry, hungry the hippo. Anybody ever play hungry, hungry area, hippo? The more points you'll earn. The fourth activity booth is called Into the Frame. It's like Hungry Hungry, hip activity, hungry, hungry Hippos, travelers guys. Travelers will get to shoot their own scenes by experimenting with different camera positions and narration techniques. Cool! We get to make a movie! That's yeah. awesome. So we get to make a travelers movie. Travelers might remember is helping this a picture out with some filmmaking back in Inazuma, but this seems more professional. Wait, maybe this can be the inspiration for our commercial. Oh. Ooh. Now that I think about it, a Fontanian man went to Inazuma to shoot a Look film. This, guys. I guess international travel can we be a source of artistic take some angles. Yeah, guys, I'm gonna take the best that angles. That must have also been true in Chiori's Angles like that. Since she opened Chioria's boutique in Fontaine. Ooh, that could be a strong theme I'll be for taking our commercial. Some great angles, Actually, guys. Ayaka and Ayato aren't the only Inazumans traveling abroad in version 4.3. Kuki Shinobu just arrived in Liyue for her class reunion. Yeah, we get to direct. Yeah, yep. and Ito Yo, decided Ito? to tag along as the boss of the Arataki game. Yo, Ito, who? <laughs> he brought his Onikabuto with Yo, him. Yo, Ito, who? What is he doing here? He to train his beetles for Bruh. Him. Wow. <laughs> yeah. What is he doing here, An man? Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp. Beetle that Battle Boot Camp? Jesus. Ito. <laughs> right, for sure. And there was also a beetle battle the event BBB, in version three point four, right? Beetle battle. Beetle bootcamp. battles against a super powerful beetle battler. I believe his name was Grandmaster Hanakado. Mm. Yep, Grandmaster Hanakado made an impressive <laughs> showing during the last beetle battle event. <laughs> this time, he's made the trip to Liyue with Ito. It seems like the two of them have met a mysterious new beetle battle master. Ooh. What? Who is it? Tell us. Tell us. Tell us. I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I can't give that away. Travelers will have to. I feel like their didn't uh, wasn't Lu Mean part of the uh, 4.2 live stream as well? Mysterious new beetle battle master. 
Oh, uh, looks like we're gonna do this again, which this event was actually not bad. I actually kind of like this, to be honest. Remain unchanged from the original event. Travelers I actually did not mind this last time. This is actually one of the better uh, events. I don't know if you guys agree, but I enjoyed this. Make use of the movement, charge, and little little beetle battles. To topple your opponents, no matter what they throw at you. Master them, and you'll be ready to tackle Damn, you can the ultimate that's trial new. of the strong. Ooh. I don't remember shielding before. <laughs> trial of the strong. You never played it? It was pretty fun, MC. I mean, I enjoyed it. An old in the oh, we countryside. get to get more mini Seelies. I have the pink one. Along with him. I have the Yay! pink one. <laughs> Our mini Seely friend is back. <laughs> so I'm assuming we're gonna get to choose another color. Travelers right? can help restore the Seely's vitality by absorbing energy from I the locations so. that are marked on Ullman's treasure map. I'd like to, return, uh, I got the pink the one before, the pink reddish one. Of buried treasure. Maybe I'll get like, uh, ancient like a blue one or something. Or the event, yellow one, the gold one. You can one exchange nice. them for various rewards, including a mini Seely. Yeah, so we get to choose color. another one. Okay, so in the event, yeah, the the, the, like the yellow one. Located underwater, but when I yeah, I'll go for the yellow one. I think I discovered that Seely couldn't follow me underwater. Yo, what's up, Kyoshi? Treasure seeking Seely different. I walked away from Genshin at the time. I stopped playing when Asuma rolled out, and I only came back this uh, <laughs> summer. So you came back when Sumeru came out, yeah? I mean, uh, Fontaine. Event, a new mini Seely. Yeah, that's alright, bro. You know, it just means you got a lot of content this to go new through. Mini can uh, I guess the only bad thing is you probably missed out on a lot of shit, but. Treasure isn't the only thing that you'll discover in Fontaine's countryside. You might also come across a mysterious domain nah, you gotta get guarded brilliance. by a unique it sword follows master you underwater. who searches the rest for the don't. So this is a battle. new one that will During follow you underwater, the, the other one will. doesn't. Travelers will get the chance to participate oh. in combat challenges. So I guess I'm gonna have to get the Each pink one again. Each challenge stage will contain two rounds. I guess I'll just get the Travelers pink one again, guys. Travelers select their party compositions before the challenge starts. One of your chosen Power characters creep, must be used in both rounds, but no <laughs> other character can be repeated. That's all right. I'll just oh, get the okay. pink one again. Mm -hmm. No big deal. After you complete a blade dance objective during a challenge, damn you will blade dance. Yo, Nilo, what? Defeating opponents while Yo, heightened verb is active will grant blade you dance, more huh? points. And another old friend is returning in version 4.3. I don't know, guys. What do you guys think about Navia? Damn, yo guys is leaving. Oh, that's again. right. We have to make sure, guys, we have to make sure we cooperate on the okay, Lieben so event, right? Like Lieben we gotta make sure we go to people's worlds that have the primos. So guys, we're gonna be we're gonna be working together on the Lieben one, okay? Make sure we everybody gets the primos. After this update, travelers will have the opportunity right, you gotta go to the one where the primos are or something like that, or, or like where the materials you want are. Like who has like a pyro box or... What I'm was so it? It wasn't Primos. It was like, I remember, Exciting. was it Moro or Purple travelers Books? I remember like asking people if they had like a Pyro cards, Box or like a Dendro Box. New character cards. Why? Plus, Why did we do that? Five new monster cards. Such as Dvalin, Signora, and Aza, Ah, it was for the more hour books. Okay, the okay. Corresponding well, tavern challenges. my point but still stands, guys. I want some purple books or some Mora. I don't want any of the other stuff. You're going for Mora? I'm going for books, man. I got like 20 something million more. I'm good. There's TCG content to look forward to outside the game as well. The genius invocation. Oh my god, DCG! Officially begin in January 2024. Wait, did I see? Mm -hmm. Travelers second, can look forward to some friendly competition between. Wait a minute. Six new guys, is this. Am I seeing what I'm seeing, what I'm thinking, what I'm seeing, what I'm seeing? They're finally adding a Yalen card? Character cards. Holy Yale and Cardboards, we're buying that. And Ajdaha will be obtainable from the corresponding tavern challenges. But that's not all. The four I love how it took forever to get a Yale and card and a Lynette and Lini card are like available ASAP. Be on the lookout for future announcements. There's TCG content. I can't, guys, I cannot believe TCG is a thing well. that's taken serious. The Genius Invocation TCG Asia Invitational I can't it. will officially begin in. <laughs> it's time to do 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 to some friendly competition between 16 of the top uh, I cannot believe this is a serious Asia. thing. I heard there's some of the best an actual the tournament. So cool. Be sure to follow uh, the I, I, can't, I just don't I don't, I don't get it. Account to stay People up to actually play this competitively. About competitively. This epic showdown. Ooh. Oh my hey. gosh, this is all so exciting. We each their own, I guess. <laughs> well, hang on to that. That's why you stake on a new we're end game. Because we a short break to look at the next group of redemption codes. We'll all right, guys. Sharing more exciting information. This is gonna be the last uh, redeem code, right? Just a moment. Yay! Well, like I said, guys, if you missed it, it is 
pinned on chat and it's also going to be on my discord it's already on the discord so don't don't choke Make sure you get your codes welcome back travelers we've introduced a lot of content and we've got a ton looks of inspiration damn good. for our commercial honestly i love how they're just kind of popping her in the background they're, they're not really talking good. about her people are like dude who's that Let's dive Yo, who into that? System optimizations that the project team has prepared. Oh, that's right. Some uh, okay. some quality of life First, improvements. We have some artifact related optimizations to introduce. That's right. That's With right. Ever increasing amount of artifact sets to choose from. Many travelers may have been hoping for a better and quicker way to filter and locate desired artifacts. So I, I kind of knew something about this. I knew they were going to do something with, like, uh, artifacts. This is cool, guys. This is really good. Especially for people that are too lazy to look at catching mains or anything or... In addition, or don't know anything about building characters. That's a good. Added. That's a good feature. Now, when filtering artifacts, that's a really good feature. You can lock the artifacts that fit your filter specifications. You want to know more about her? Me With too, dude. Automatic locking function. She looks awesome. Acquired artifacts that fit your locking criteria will automatically be locked when added to your. So yeah, I knew there was gonna be oh, something like awesome. this. You could like Travelers lock artifacts in other ways. But looks like you can be really uh, specific. Set. Travelers can choose their own. Yeah, I'm C6, R5, Monto, settle down, bro. Chill out, Monto. You have no idea how good she's going to be. It would be ridiculous, man. Remember, she's going to be a Geo. She's going to be a Geo. Of course, if you can lock we don't know. We don't know how good she's going to be. You can unlock them in batches as well. Travelers can look forward to both don't be, of those features. Uh, don't be an Omega market. shrimp, dude. That's not all, though. What? Travelers will be able to sort <laughs> artifacts by three different attributes. Plus, the artifact enhancement screen. Uh, dude, I think if she was a pyro, I'd be like, yeah, go for it. But she's being a geo, I'm like, ugh. An enhancement limit I don't know what, feature I don't know, I don't know what to think. Available. Hopefully, these optimizations will not only make artifacts easier to find, but also quicker to level. Be on the lookout for future announcements to learn. So that's more. pretty. That's pretty cool. The project team is always working hard to address your service. She's gonna people. shoot sm so, small stuff. Yeah, I don't know what she's gonna do, man. But artifact related her being a geo is gonna updates. annoying. Improvements to equipping Maybe she's gonna be the geo game changer. I doubt it, Kyo Shido. I feel like Navia should have been Ooh. the geo game changer. The project team has made I also saw that they were gonna do something like this. You can basically, yeah, you can just auto add, and we can make it much, much quicker to level up characters. Or enhance a weapon, you no longer have to click so many pop-up windows. Oh, that's awesome. That's As pretty a cool. new player using a few one and two star materials to level artifacts, the whole process might feel a bit slow, especially with pop-up windows appearing. Wow. Totally. This new optimization only took them three years. Hey, better late than never. Windows that we have to click you know, and from my so perspective, it only took them one and a half years because I've only been playing this game for about an hour, a year and a half. So, hey, made it easier to you know, repeat domain not challenges. too bad from my perspective. Previously, travelers who tried to continue domain challenges would be sent to the entrance. <laughs> if you're an OG, then yeah, three years for me, one and a half years, baby. To the center to start the challenge. But and if you're a Mario, bro, it only took them what, like four months, five months? Right next to the area where you actually start. Fighting. Okay, really that's amazing. cool. That's so, cool, guys. I actually, they, I actually counted. It takes about 15 to 12 seconds. 12 to 15 to seconds to go from the bottom of the stage to the key. So every yeah, time you do everybody. one run, you're saving yourself 15 <laughs> seconds. That's addition, pretty good. Version 4.3 has made it easier to clear your quest backlog. Archon Quest Chapter 2, Act 4, in the depths. Uh, Nobody brought up a good point about Genshin and Toyo's cash cow, so they don't want to change chasm. anything. Uh, past, travelers had to complete I don't know if I agree with that. Chasm, spelunkers, and the heavenly stones Dude, wh what's there? To... What's there to test out about giving people freaking ten pulls per patch? Who the hell is not gonna like that playing Genshin? Who's not gonna like just general overall improvements to the UI? Who's not gonna like better looking graphics? Who's not gonna like a lot of really interesting waifus? What the hell is there to test? To proceed Give me a break. In this update, Give me a freaking break. Travelers no longer need to complete those two world quests. Mm. Nah, Instead, I don't, I don't, I don't think that's a plausible the theory. Who issued the commission to unlock a teleport waypoint? Oh. It will take them to the corresponding area and automatically trigger the next step of the Archon quest. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> this will hopefully make it easier for travelers to quickly progress through Archon quests. So cool. So that'll make it significantly easier for newer lapsed players to access the Archon Quest. So I love how we're going back to the underground chasm. Fates as fast as possible. <laughs> <laughs> yes, definitely. For sure. Also, one-click expeditions will be available. This is cool, guys. This 
That's cool. Again, another thing they changed in Honkai's News Rail, which is an improvement on life. Like, I don't understand why they have to test it. I mean, it's obviously a good change. That's gonna make it easier to collect rewards from Catherine. Definitely. They're removing some Chasm quests from the Archon quest line. For example, well, I mean, I've done it already, so I'm okay with that. Enemy tracking with the I guess if you're a new player, it might, that might not be the best thing. Logic during crafting and forging. In addition, when performing mystic offerings, travelers will now be able to add artifacts in batches. There's a lot to look forward to, so be sure to check future announcements. For so they're gonna be, uh, they're gonna tell us okay, more about the whole artifact stuff. Okay. A new Fontaine style realm layout. Wow! Look at this, guys. The corresponding items from We're gonna go back to the Serenity oh, Pot. It looks like an aquarium. I know, right? Beautiful <laughs> for all you Serenity ocean. Pot lovers. You get an underground at Atlantis looking Some area. Islands even have ponds the travelers can use to keep so they're removing fish. Yellen introduction? Oh, I hope not. Underwater kingdom. It's just so I hope pretty. not. Oh, yeah. no. Do and that quest? Wait. Are you guys telling me they're removing the Yellen quest in the chasm? Dude, that is such an awesome quest. There's no way. Bro, there's no way they remove that quest. That's like one of my favorite quests in the game. Travelers have the chance to make There's their no own. way they remove that, I'm bro. I'm so excited to see what everyone's going to come up with. That underground Ooh, chasm one, that's such a good quest. <laughs> <laughs> you just want to copy their designs, don't you? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, just the fact, just removing <laughs> quests in general, I think it's a silly it. idea, but... I have piece of like I said, we don't have to worry about it, guys. Everyone. I think it's, if they're yeah, indeed right. removing quests, it's going to be a new player thing. It kind of sucks. Melodies of an endless journey is coming Yeah, that Dane quest was not bad. Yeah, the Dane quest was actually not bad. I actually enjoyed it. Isn't that... Guys, isn't that one where, like, we finally see our, our sibling for the first time since they disappeared? That's, that's, that, that's that quest, right? We see them for the first time since they disappeared. Why would they remove that quest? I feel like that's an important quest. Let's take a sneak peek at some of the amazing moments that that's this before? concert has in store. Yeah, but I feel like removing that before one is going to make that feel kind of weird. I don't know. Like I said, guys, we don't have to worry about it. We've, we've been here. We're OG. Well, not OGs, but we're veterans at this point. Oh my goodness. I feel like they're always doing the same thing with the orchestra. <laughs> they're always doing the orchestra stuff. <laughs> Move on, bro. You've done it once. You've done it again. It's time for something new. How much can they milk this? How much can they milk this, guys? Wait for the Genshin anime tease? It's not gonna happen, bro. The Genshin anime is not happening. They forgot about it, bro. Genshin Concert 2023. Does that mean they're gonna give us another pair of wings? Uh, more wings, guys? Uh, another pair of blue wings? I can't wait. The 2023 Genshin concert held in Shanghai last September will also be online soon, so stay tuned, travelers. <gasps> Whoa! Genshin so made some headbanging music. Uh, I don't think we're gonna get yep. like that kind of, kind of music here. Oh, the Nahida, the Nahida music is pretty good. So is the Al Haitham one. So be on the lookout for more information. But I feel like if you want, like, if you really want headbanging music, you gotta play Honkai Snooze Roll, because Honkai Snooze Roll does have does have a more futuristic um, feeling, uh, like soundtrack. The album will like more like techno y, more like uh, house type of music. Wait, we're Genshin is more like classical, more like slow, kind of pretty orchestra type. Already been getting a ton of love. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, there you go. There's some headbanging music. There you go. Just what you wanted. Stellar Moments, Volume 4. Okay, well, that's all the new information we have to share about the updates. So, I guess that means it's time for the version 4.3 special program to come to a close. Damn. Oh. That was it? <laughs> but we haven't even come up with a plan for our oh my God. commercial. That actually, was it? Actually, we've already finished shooting it. You're right. What? The special program was Guys, that was actually kind of short. I'm certainly not going to forget the name Chioria hmm. Boutique after this. <laughs> totally. 
Oh my gosh, we really did cover a lot of important information. Did we though? Today. For sure. Did we? The most important part is our final word did from we? our sponsor, Chioria Boutique. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I just wanted to let everyone know that I'm so excited to be a part of Genshin Impact, and I cannot wait for all of you to meet Shubras. Uh, totally. I, I hate when they laugh at everything. This Can't is just what they got to do, man. It's part of their job. Is that like whole Disney? Yeah. The whole also, Disney happy, everything's happy thing. <laughs> Nervous yeah, laughter. So <laughs> <cute>. <laughs> that awkward yeah, laughter. The you know, they have like a teleprompter in the back that says laugh now. And they're like, Well, I am just so glad that the three of us have been able to do this special program together. This has been so much fun. Really fun, and yeah. that's all we have for the version 4.3. Guys, um, uh, I hope that everyone's looking forward to experiencing all I mean, the exciting new content for themselves. Be sure to check it out when the update goes live. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, bye. All right, bye, bye guys. <laughs> See you later. Bye. There it is, guys. Bye bye. Whoa, guys, where are we gonna? Where are we getting this Zhongli skin? Dude, he looks sick. Dude, he looks sick. When are we gonna get this skin in game, bro? He looks badass. My God. Uh. Anyways, guys, what do you guys think? I mean, let's be honest. We kind of expected a lackluster update. We knew 4.3 was gonna be a snooze fest. For obvious reasons. No no real new areas. So they can't really talk about the new areas. We all knew that the 4.3 Archon Quest was going to be more like filler. And it, it basically seems like it is. We're going to go back to the underground chasm. Um, So yeah. So I, my expectations were kind of low. So yeah. 7 out of 10. Yeah. I'd probably say like a 6.5, 7 out of 10 as far as like what we got to see. Uh, I am excited for um, for some of the mini games. That that hungry, hungry hippo looking mini game looked pretty cool. Uh, the quality of life improvements seem like they're gonna be pretty welcomed by everyone, myself included. Uh, Chevy looks like she might actually be a really good four star pyro character. Uh, she will be coming out with Raiden and uh, Yoimiya. So if you guys are pulling on that banner, you guys might get yourselves a couple of um, Chevys. Yeah, that that's pretty much about it, guys. I mean. Yeah, I mean, we already knew the banners, who the banner characters were going to be. We knew it was going to be first half Navia and Ayaka. Second half was going to be Ayumi uh, and Raiden. No, no, no surprises there. If a patch doesn't have a new area, give us a big event. Yeah, we're not, doesn't look like we're going to get a big, big event. I think the most, um, the one event that I'm looking forward to is that Hungry Hungry Hippo one. Uh, the filmmaking one, I don't know, not, not like really my thing, but I'm sure people will enjoy it. Yeah, I think Gals is right. I think like a 6.5, 7 out of 10 in terms of like what to look forward to. But we already knew that. We already knew that, guys. But then, hey, there it is, guys. That is the 4.3 uh, reaction. Looks like we're going to be waiting for 4.4. 4.4 should be a good one. So we're going to be back, of course, watching that one live. Yeah. <laughs>